What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and I'm here to show you a new video series on certain builds or weapons that I really enjoy using in Demon Souls and this one's going to be covering easy mode in Demon Souls. So this is a true easy mode without any glitches and it's called using magic. So I'm in currently just started my new game plus run and we're only level 60. However, this character completely destroyed the regular new game. And now New Game Plus, it's doing pretty well, as you saw in the previous clip of me just immediately one-shotting Phalanx Demon with Firestorm. So, pretty much for this build, as you can see at level 60, I have very low vit at 16, which is actually the cap is what we're keeping it at. And we're going to want to get Intelligence and Magic boosted all the way up. I probably want to get Magic actually up to 50. And Dexterity, we are raising up as well because some enemies in the game do resist magic. So this is a Dex magic build where we will be using the Killage here as our secondary weapon for this game. So currently what we are using right now is the S-Stock uh, plus 5, which is Crescent. So Crescent means it gets a magical boost. So as you can see, we're doing 106 physical and 112 magic damage with this weapon. So our damage is actually split. So if an enemy is weak to magic or doesn't resist magic that well, then the Crescent X stock will be their main weapon of choice with this build. I highly suggest grabbing the S stock, even if you're not using a magic build and you're just using a dex build. X stock is amazing and you can stun lock so many enemies with this weapon. It's pretty... Uh, phenomenal and we are just using the wooden catalyst uh you can either use the wooden or silver catalyst the, the difference is is virtually uh the i believe the wooden takes uses less mp while the silver does more damage or as it could be vice versa but it doesn't really matter i just prefer either of these over the insanity catalyst uh and then the chris blade which is actually the most important part of this build so the Chris Blade is a special item that you can get in 3-1. And the Chris Blade has an ability where it actually increases magic damage by 10%. But at plus 5, it actually is a 30% uh, damage bonus to magic. So whenever I'm casting spells, I'll always have the Chris Blade in my left hand instead of having a shield. Because we get a 30% magic boost to our damage. Speaking of magic boost... We're also wearing the monk head wrappings. And in order to get the monk head wrappings, you have to invade a player in 3-3 and be summoned for the old monk fight and win. So the monk's head wrapping also increases your magical power by 30%, but you do take 30% more magic damage. And last but not least is the ring of magical sharpness, which also increases your magical power by 30% and you take 30% more magic damage. So we have a lot of ways we are boosting our magic and we're with a total stacking of plus 90% to our magic damage, which is honestly a lot. And we're already doing big damage with not even max magic on this build yet. So you can only imagine what 50 magic is going to do for us on this build. But yeah, I use the killage as our backup weapon when magic does not work. You could use a katana or something like that. I would use the killage because it only requires 14 strength. And I have 15 strength because I like having a bow uh, to use as well, just in case, you know, a bow is a better uh, situation uh, for later in New Game Plus. Because honestly, the range of the bow is incredible. So I always suggest having a bow of some sorts. And then the rest of your armor really does not matter. I just wear the silver bracelets just because it's, you know, get more souls as well. And besides that, all you really need is a lot of fresh spice and old spice. Uh, always be spending your souls on this. Besides leveling up, if you're not leveling, do this. So speaking of spells, we actually have virtually almost every spell in the entire game. So let's attune our magic. So the higher your intelligence uh, magic is, the slot stat is, the more slots you can get. So currently I only have enough for four slots, but you can, I believe, get this up to five or six. I'm not 100% sure, but four slots is pretty good. Five is what you really want. So your main damage items here is Soul Arrow, which is your basic spell. And you can actually start with Soul Arrow if you pick the uh, Royalty class. Or you can have Flame Toss. And you can get this if you start with the Magician class. Both of these classes I highly recommend starting with if you're going to do a magic build. Uh, these are your two bread and butter attacks. 
Enchant weapon is really good. It imbues your regular weapon with magic damage. So think of it as a spell that puts sticky white slime on your weapon, essentially. And then some really good spells is Water Veil to deal with World 2. However, World 2 is completely weak to magic, so you'll be good to go there. And honestly, Poison Cloud and Death Cloud are incredible. You can actually destroy so many NPCs with Death Cloud and Poison Cloud. It'll stack poison and plague on them. This will also work in PvP as well. They're relatively cheap spells, and they don't even take up that many slots, with a total of three between the two. Soul Ray is going to be your big damage dealer for uh, pure magic damage here, and it can actually penetrate through enemies, which is really incredible. Homing Soul Arrow is pretty good as well. Another solid PvP spell. It can summon a few soul arrows around you, and it'll home in on the closest enemy. Overall, pretty good and pretty passive spell. Light weapon is a super buff to your weapon. And so it's pretty much, I believe, like a 25% increased damage from the uh, regular enhanced weapon. Fire spray is incredible for world 5. You take out multiple enemies at once and it costs very few MP to do this. Acid cloud is to meme enemies. Um, to me, me and for pretty much uh, other players to kill their armor. Warding's incredible and makes you super buff in fights. Highly recommend using this if you just want to have some survivability in fights. And then Firestorm, as you saw when I killed the Felix Demon, uh, just randomly cast fire all around me. Pretty good in PvP, really good in PvE, especially in bosses that are weak to fire like Phalanx and pretty much the World 5 bosses will get obliterated by that. There's a couple of other spells too I don't have, uh, but you can get all your spells from Sage Freak and uh, Yuria for the most part. So pretty much that's all you need for a good magic build. And I will just show some footage of me, you know, going through some levels and defeating bosses. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, realize how OP magic is. It's relatively easy to get this build, honestly. Like I said, Monk's Wrapping from 3-3. Chris Blade from 3-1, and then you just any wand, any armor, and Ring Imaginal Sharpness as well. You actually get in 3-1, so if you want to do magic, go to 3-1. Also, you get the uh, Soul Ray spell by killing Fool's Idol. So once you have Soul Ray, you're pretty much there. So yeah, doing magic, go 3-1, and then you're good to go. And yeah, please uh, look forward to this footage of me destroying some bosses. I get into this range where he's doing melee attacks the entire time, but he's not using fire attacks. And that's how you defeat Armor Spider with magic, really easily.